Hage-Dorn temperature. The Hage-Dorn temperature, TH, is the temperature in theoretical physics where hadronic matter, i.e. ordinary matter, is no longer stable and must either evaporate or convert into quark matter. As such, it can be thought of as the boiling point of hadronic matter. The Hage-Dorn temperature exists because the amount of energy available is high enough that matter-particle quark-antiquark pairs can be spontaneously pulled from vacuum. Thus, naively considered, a system at Hage-Dorn temperature can accommodate as much energy as one can put in because the formed quarks provide new degrees of freedom, and thus the Hage-Dorn temperature would be an impassable absolute hot. However, if this phase is viewed as quarks instead, it becomes apparent that the matter has transformed into quark matter, which can be further heated. The Hage-Dorn temperature, pH, is about 150 MeV or about 1.712 K, the same as the mass energy of the lightest hadrons, the pion. Matter at Hage-Dorn temperature or above will spew out fireballs of new particles, which can again produce new fireballs, and the ejected particles can then be detected by particle detectors. This quark matter has been detected in heavy ion collisions at SBS and LHC in CERN France and Switzerland and at RIC in Brookhaven National Laboratory USA. In string theory, a separate Hage-Dorn temperature can be defined for strings rather than hadrons. This temperature is extremely high, 1030 K, and thus of mainly theoretical interest. History the Hage-Dorn temperature was discovered by German physicist Rolf Hage-Dorn in the 1960s while working at CERN. His work on the statistical bootstrap model of hadron production showed that because increases in energy in a system will cause new particles to be produced, an increase of collision energy will increase the entropy of the system rather than the temperature, and the temperature becomes stuck at a limiting value. Technical Explanation in string theory, in string theory, it indicates a phase transition, the transition at which very long strings are copiously produced. It is controlled by the size of the string tension, which is smaller than the Planck scale by the sum power of the coupling constant. By adjusting the tension to be small compared to the Planck scale, the Hage-Dorn transition can be much less than the Planck temperature. Traditional grand unified string models place this in the magnitude of 1030 Kelvin, two orders of magnitude smaller than the Planck temperature. Such temperatures have not been reached in any experiment and are far beyond the reach of current or even foreseeable technology.